Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a first look at the Dark Power Pro 12, which is BeQuad's new top of the line power supply. So this power supply has an 80 plus titanium rating. It costs £370 and I don't think I've ever looked forward to unboxing a power supply quite as much as this. The Dark Power Pro 12 is available in two versions, 1200 watts and 1500 watts, and I've got the 1200 watts here. The 1200 watt model will set you back £370, while the 1500 watt will cost you an extra £50 at £420. The power supply has an 80 plus titanium rating with a maximum efficiency of up to 94.7%. On standby, the power supply will use less than 0.1 watts. So why is having a really efficient power supply such a big deal? Well, the first thing is it's gonna save you money. You're gonna waste less energy as heat, which means you're gonna require less cooling. And as a result, your power supply is also gonna run quieter. The Dark Power Pro 12 is BeQuiet's first power supply with fully digital control. This results in higher efficiency, better regulation, and lower ripple noise, and even the fan in the power supply is controlled digitally. BeQuiet have only used the best components in the Dark Power Pro 12, and they've used premium quality Japanese capacitors rated at up to 105 degrees for maximum reliability and longevity. The inside of the power supply is wire-free, which should result in less turbulence for enhanced cooling and as well for longevity. The Dark Power Pro 12 comes with a 10 years manufacturer's warranty and is rated for 300,000 hours of use. So if you were to run your power supply for 24 hours a day, every day, that's over 34 years of use. Looking at the power supply unit itself, as you'd expect for a power supply in this price bracket, it is fully modular. The housing itself is made from aluminium, giving it a really premium look and feel. The dimensions of the power supply are 200mm in length by 150mm in width by 86mm in height. So if you're thinking of getting this power supply, make sure your case is big enough to accommodate it. Looking at the front of the power supply, you'll notice there's a full-sized mesh panel. Beneath this, BeQuiet have modified the intake to be funnel-shaped, meaning that the whole of the front of the power supply is able to act as an intake, giving great airflow. The power supply uses a 135mm silent wings fan, which has been modified to make it frameless for improved airflow. As you'd expect with a silent wings fan, it's incredibly quiet, and be quiet say this will be virtually inaudible under ordinary loads. 
They do have the data to back this up, so with the fan spinning at 20%, the noise levels are 11.2 decibels. With it spinning at 50%, the noise levels are 11.7 decibels. And then running at full speed, it reaches a maximum noise level of 25.8 decibels, which is incredibly quiet. The Dark Power Pro 12 comes with six 12 volt reels. It does, however, come with an overclocking key, allowing you to switch to one massive 12 volt reel if you prefer. As you'd expect, the cables included with the Dark Power Pro 12 are of really high quality. They're individually sleeved and come with cable combs. They're also fairly long, up to 120 centimeters, which should make using this power supply in a large case problem free. Looking at the cables included, we've got a 24 pin cable. We've got two 8 pin EPS cables, one of which splits into two 4 pin connectors. We've got five dual 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors, given a total of 10 8 pin connectors. We've got the overclocking key that we've mentioned, and then we've got a range of SATA and Molex cables, giving us a total of 16 SATA connectors and 8 Molex connectors. So I think I can say without any doubt, this has been my favourite unboxing so far. Everything about the product, the accessories, the packaging just screams quality. And the whole process was incredible. I think the only thing I can liken it to is your normal power supply is just like your ordinary car. It gets you from A to B, there's nothing exciting about it, and it just does a job. Whereas this power supply I would liken to a sports car. Using it is going to be fun, and every time you touch any little part of it, it just screams quality. So obviously this power supply is going to be overkill for your average gaming PC, and even for a high-end gaming PC, you're not going to need 1200 or 1500 watts. Where I could see this being used is in a workstation where you're going to use multiple GPUs, or for example a Threadripper CPU. And certainly in those situations, you are going to need this amount of wattage. Be quiet, do offer a non-pro version of the power supply in 750, 850 and 1000 watts. It is important to note, however, there are some differences between the pro and non-pro version. For a start, the outer casing in the non-pro versions is steel rather than aluminium. You're going to have four rails rather than the six rails you get in the Pro version. The cables aren't going to be of a higher quality and they're not individually sleeved. And as well, the control in the power supply is analog rather than digital. So it's not just a simple matter of the non-Pro versions or the lower wattage versions. So where I can see the non-Pro version of the Dark Power 12 being used is in a high-end gaming PC. Because I think the wattages it offers are much more suited to that than the likes of the Pro version. I think the only exception would be if you're somebody who just wants the best of the best and you've got the money to get it. I think then you'll have a great experience with this power supply. So Be Quiet have sent out this power supply for a creator's PC build that I'm working on with a number of different companies over the next month or so. So keep an eye on the channel and you'll be seeing this power supply in one of my builds in the near future. And in fact, I've got a funny feeling you're going to be seeing this power supply in most of my high-end builds for the very near future. So hopefully you find this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.